Hi viewers, today I am going to install the Anaconda uh, or the Python. So in this uh, first uh, you go on the Google. So after this click on the Google. After this you go and type Anaconda download. So you go for uh, anaconda distribution so in this way you have uh, two version of anaconda first is the python 3.7 version and the second is python 2.7 version so uh, we must need to download python 3.7 version so i already downloaded and put on the uh, desktop so first i double click on the anaconda so after this uh, we just click on the next just click on next agree and no I install for the just for me so you can also install for all users but this is the simple way so after this you can browse any destination folder so at the moment I just uh, use uh, my user on the C drive so click on the next so in this way you have two options so first option is add anaconda and the second is uh, register anaconda at, as my default python 3.7 so i am using uh, register anaconda at the default path so after this you just click on the install so after the installation we will check uh, the others python uh, notebook for example uh, we check how to install the Jupyter, how to install uh, Spider and how to install uh, Studio Basic. Uh, these are basic libraries uh, uh, used for the machine learning and deep learning application and for data analysis in Python. So we just wait for the moment, maybe it takes 5 to 10 minutes for the installation. So you click on the next button. So you can skip this install Microsoft uh, VS Code. No need for this. So after this, you just finish uh, your installation for Anaconda 3. Now you can open this Anaconda Navigator by typing on the Start button. So you just click Anaconda Navigator. 
takes maybe uh, some time. After this, uh, now I will explain how to uh, create the virtual environment uh, for your uh, Python notebook. So uh, this is very simple and easy method to create the virtual environment. You just uh, at the moment you have only the root base environment at the moment. So uh, I will click on this uh, environment button. So after this you just uh, click on the create button. After this you can check uh, we have the create new environment. So you can put any name test python code. So you can select uh, any python version. So for the moment I just select 3.6 after this just click on the create so now so it's fetching some uh, commands from anaconda into the anaconda prompt so you can check uh, the environment creating environment in this user space anaconda 3 environments the name is test python code so after the creation of uh, the virtual environment this is very simple method you can install jupyter notebook you can install uh, Spider, you can install Visual Basic Studio Notebook for the Python programming. So the next step, I will show you how to install Jupyter, Spider and Visual Basic on your virtual environment. So now uh, you can click on the home. So after this, you can see we have two environments where we have application first is the base root and the second is test python environment so you click on test python environment so on this environment uh, you can see we have different number of notebooks which we can use for uh, python programming for machine learning data analysis and uh, after this i will explain how to uh, install the TensorFlow, PyTorch and Keras for deep learning programming. So you can see by default we have only VS Code. We can launch this one and the others we need to install. So first we need to install uh, the spider. So we just click on the spider notebook. It takes maybe a few minutes to for installation. Now we can see we have on the our virtual environment three different uh, notebooks. First is the uh, IPython, Spider, and Visio Code. So we click on the Spider to launch this uh, notebook. So after this, uh, you have different number of uh, button on this spider notebook. So we can check on the file. We can create new file, open the existing file, save the file, edit the file. So for example, now I want to create the new file. So on this new file, you can write any Python program. For example, for the test, I just type green. Our first program. 
so you can execute this program or maybe you can save this program on your current working directory so after this you can execute this program in a different way first you can select on this run on selection and current command and on the right side we can see on the console in ipython console we can check this one is the print first program this is the input and this is our output so we can see the variable explorer the other files on this jupyter notebook so for example i have write any a and just i want to print a a is 5 so this variable is stored in our variable explorer let's say i have uh, one vector in a Python so just need to print A so we can see this one is the list size 3 1 to 4 so in this way uh, we can write any Python program on this uh, spider notebook so in this on the uh, other we can check on the run and we can debug different section for example i just create another section in this section i write a is equal to 5 b is equal to 7 and cat a plus b is equal to c so you can see so when i create another uh, section so i run on this run print cell location so when i run this so you can see we have a variable explorer a b c and i want to see value so in this way you uh, write c and click enter so you can check uh, we have 12 in this c so this is the first program you can set different number of paths on your current working directory you can choose and open any other directory from D drive or C drive, it's up to you. So in the next tutorial, I will explain uh, deeply how to run uh, one big Python program and how to check uh, and how to debug the program line by line, same as in the MATLAB. So after this, uh, next I will explain how to install the Jupyter Notebook on the same environment.